true. Yeah. Rifleman Mizan Gurung from C Company, the first battalion of the Royal Gore Rifles, and I am the youngest rifleman of my company. Right now, we are in Australia for the Exercise Specific Cookery 2023. This exercise is to work with the Australian Defence Force it's in the US Marines to know how they operate, to share each other tactics in the conventional war in the urban. Here in Australia, we have done a various training. We know how they operate in the water, how they operate in the jungle. We have done the blank firing and the light firing with the section cordon up to the company level. That's with the Australian Defence Force. So, F3 grenade. Uh, US Marines. Joker friendlies in vicinity of Alpha 4. And the joint fighting. So my name is Lieutenant Daniel Perkins. I'm a Joint Fire Team Commander from 812 Regiment, Royal Australian Artillery. 1-0, Alpha 5, clear. My role as a uh, Joint Fire Team Commander uh, during X Pacific Cookery is to provide Joint Fires and effects in support of uh, Combat Team uh, Cookery's clearance uh, throughout the AO. Uh, this sees me use mortars. direct fire support weapons uh, to help uh, support manoeuvre. So the composition of my team is I have myself, um, my AC, who uh, pretty much uh, watches over everything that I do and is about a uh, lens corporal equivalent or a corporal equivalent. I also have uh, two further uh, people in my team, a uh, very small team, 
um, but it's exactly what we need to get the job done. How the process works for, for my role is that um, I'll acquire a target uh, and I'll game process uh, through my ground commander, um, gather his intent and what to do, and then that'll get processed into firing data, which I pass on to the Joint Fires Effect Coordination Centre. And from there, they'll distribute that fires uh, to surface to surface assets, being uh, uh, USMC mortars, in order to enable that strike to occur. My name is Corporal Sam Contialdi. I'm with 3rd Battalion, 1st Marines. My role as the section leader for uh, my mortar section is I'll receive the order um, from the Australian okay. Joint Fires team, or whether it's an American team or a Gurkha team, um, and I work with my FDC, which is my Fire Direction Center, to turn that um, location data or target data into firing data. Then I give it to the gun line, and uh, the gun line can now fire at that target. One, one, three, six! Three, shot, three! During this exercise, our main focus is integrating with the Australians and the Gurkhas. Um, really trying to work towards like a one team um, kind of attitude. Uh, we do things a lot different sometimes, some things we do are similar. So really our main goal is just building a good relationship with the Australians and the Gurkhas and um, trying to work together as best we can. My name's Major Jack Miller and I'm OCC Company from 1st Battalion, the Royal Gurkha Rifles. I'm leading the 1RGR deployment to Australia for Exercise Pacific Cookery 23. C Company are here in Australia to conduct combined arms manoeuvre training. We don't have the real estate to do that in Brunei because of the jungle. It's um, primary jungle and it's a bit too difficult to be firing mortars and machine guns uh, all in one place. So we come here to validate the training level, Echo and Charlie, and use all of our manoeuvre assets. So we're using Mount Bundy training area in the Northern Territories in Australia, I think outback. It's rough, rugged, uh, very rocky terrain. Um, and the benefits for us coming here is the impact area is enormous. So we can fire mortars and guns in support of company maneuver. We've got a lot of space to maneuver around in um, and a lot of area to, to play with. Initially in the planning, Exercise PK was going to be one RGR uh, C company deploying on their own with our own assets. But in the planning process, we saw an opportunity to train with the Australian Defence Force. And while that planning was ongoing, the Marine Rotational Force in Darwin also offered up um, some support. So we've ended up training with the ADF and also the US Marine Corps. So while we've been here, we've been fortunate enough to work closely with the Australians. We've been using their Bushmaster protective mobility vehicle. 
And they've also offered up their Zodiac bar, which is a rib. So we've done some full mission profile work, inserting by boat and then using the Bushmasters throughout the exercise. We've really learnt a lot from coming here and it was great to work with the US Marine Corps and the Australians to learn from them how they deal with it, how they manoeuvre out here. It's, it's definitely been a huge advantage to, to, to this exercise to work with them. From an Australian soldier's point of view, integrating with uh, one RGR uh, has been uh, absolutely amazing. I know that for me it's been a, a highlight of my career. Uh, I know that uh, from the perspective of my soldiers, uh, they definitely look towards uh, the RGR and they definitely see uh, the hard work that they do. Um, and I think that uh, they're very, very privileged. We're all very privileged uh, to have been part of this exercise. I would describe the Gurkhas as, um, they definitely don't talk too much. They're pretty uh, to themselves, but they're real cool guys. We got to be around them a little bit. And um, I'm definitely excited to see how they do things and work with them throughout the rest of this exercise. I think I'm unbelievably proud because every single person deployed in this exercise has grafted from start to finish and worked so hard both in, in training and out of training to, to learn, be better soldiers and to, to mix with our counterparts here. But I also think that for me personally, there's no greater privilege than commanding Gurkha soldiers and to get to do a combined arms exercise with two other nations, live and blank, overseas for six weeks and test current doctrine, themes and trends is, is unbelievable and it's unparalleled. So I feel so lucky to have been given the opportunity and I'm also unbelievably proud of the effort that everyone's put in.